Hi, is the turnover of your Indian business more than 5 crores? If yes, then you can see how the e-invoicing system works in GST by accessing the e-invoice sandbox environment. With the sandbox system, you will be able to create invoices, push them to the GST and portal, and try out everything you can do in actual invoice registration portal or the IRP using Zoho Books. However, please note that this will be just a test environment and you will not be actually performing the action in real time. Here's how this works. First, you'll need to create a clone of your organization in Zoho Books for the purpose of testing. Adding and using trial details in the organization will ensure that the data you use for invoicing in the live environment doesn't get changed. To do this, log into Zoho Books, click the organization name in the top right corner of the page, and click the Manage icon. Now click Plus New Organization. Select Clone Settings to use the same settings. A new organization will be created and you can use it for free for the next 14 days. To use it beyond that period, you can write to support.india at zohobooks.com. Next, you'll need to send an email to support.india at zohobooks.com requesting to enable Sandbox for this organization. To do this, Click the help icon in the top right corner and click send email. Enter the relevant information in this form stating that you wish to use this organization for sandbox testing. To find your organization ID, you can click the profile icon here and view the same. Enter other details and click send. The Zoho Books support team will enable sandbox for this organization and write back to you after which you can register on the e-invoicing sandbox system. Next, you'll have to register to the Invoice Sandbox system. To do this, go to the Invoice Sandbox login page by going to the following link. You can also find the same link in the description below. In this page, click Register here. You choose a user type as taxpayer, enter your GSTIN. The trade name will be automatically fetched based on your GSTIN. Enter your GSD registered mobile number and the registered email address. Enter the captcha and click validate. Your e-invoice sandbox account will be created and you can use the credentials to log in. Now you can configure the GST settings in your organization and enable e-invoicing. To do this, log in to Zoho Books, go to settings, taxes and configure your GST settings here. Next, go to settings, preferences, e-invoicing, and enable the e-invoicing feature. Now you can create invoices, push them to the sandbox system and generate invoice registration number for the invoices. Then you can push the transactions to the invoice registration portal or the IRP. Click OK to confirm that the details are correct. Now click send OTP and click OK. Enter the OTP and click submit. After validation, you will be redirected to a form for creating a new account. Here your GSTIN will be filled automatically. Select registration through GSP. Select the company as Zoho Corporation. Now enter this client ID. Create your username and password for logging in. Re-enter the password again to confirm. Now click create. To know more about this process, you can click the link in the description below or the card being displayed in the top right corner of the screen right now. Once you finish testing the e-invoicing features in the sandbox environment, you can delete the test organization you had created and process with e-invoicing from your actual organization. With this, we hope you've got a good understanding on how you can try out e-invoicing in Zoho Books by accessing the e-invoice sandbox environment. Do check out the help documentation link in the description below to learn more about testing e-invoicing using the sandbox system. If you have any queries, you can reach out to us at support.india at the rate zohobooks.com and we'll be glad to help you. If you found this video helpful, do click the like button and subscribe to our channel to receive regular updates. Also, do click the bell icon so that you will never miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Thank you.